All right, let's see if the sun will let us read this. Can we read this? Barely. But looking up here, it's stone beat, but there's no uh, shadowing or no oil stains, but I have found it. You'll hear it. Sorry about the sun, guys, but listen. Okay, make me a liar. This is the area where I found it at, somewhere around here. Okay, you can hear it. Yeah, the sun's not gonna, uh, maybe I could turn it upside down. Right over in somewhere. So it went as high as 78. Okay, we got a leaky condenser, but I'm not gonna stop there. There's no oil stains at all. This had zero PSI in it. Okay, it's a 76 gas station and they do some of their own work, but he can he filled this up a couple months ago and it's leaked again. I got a couple gas stations and old service places that they all keep charging up the customers' cars and they can't find and the customers finally get a little angry that uh, they can't find the leak. And they're starting to lose money because, you know, they start doing it free again, free again, free again because they can't find the leak. But it was this easy. And I kind of I kind of suspect this one here. And uh, let me see if I can find anything under the dash. But they got the snap-on leak detector and they couldn't find anything and he has the uv light and he couldn't find anything and uh buy quality tools guys Oh, we got some. I'm gonna let's see. Let's let's turn it on. So let's uh, give it a little wind blow there. So I'm not gonna start it up. I'm just gonna. I just want to start the. What's the name of the blower? I want the blower to uh, wind up a little bit. I don't want to wind up a lot. Shit. I don't want it. Uh, I don't want. I don't want it to start. That's the thing. Wonder what mode they had this in. I want it off, off. Make sure it's off. Now I want face, but I want to make sure it's off. We want to make sure it's face. Uh, I want recycle, and then I want that and off. I want, I want to feel it in my face. So what I'm trying to do is, no, I don't want it on. I just want it face and a little blow. Okay, I'm gonna double check that. Now, the condenser leak is nowhere by the fresh air intake, but I have that. So, let's turn this off. And uh, I'm gonna go for the full, cause I only have vapor gas in there. I only put enough of vapor. I just wanted to do a real quick test. And I got nitrogen. And um, I just had to hit it quick, cause I just wanted to prove what I kind of thought was gonna be on this vehicle. And uh, I told him about getting these leak detectors, but uh, he spent $400 for a snap-on one, and he didn't want to buy a $1,000 leak detector. So so what's better, a $1,000 leak, de leak detector or four or 500 snap-on one that doesn't work? What do you think is a better buy? Uh, same goes with the UV light. Has the cheap UV light, but it doesn't find leaks. But uh, nowadays, so back when I, I talked about him buying a UV light, the good UV light was, uh, well, at the time, you had a choice. The best UV light I ever held back many years ago was the Opti Pro Max 365, and it was $700, okay? I bought one and I lost it, and I was, was not happy about that. But I used to say that the light, the UV light out of that was so powerful, it the light bent around corners um, but now you have the UV Beast version 3 full size 
It's only $80 on Amazon or eBay or straight from UV Beast. And there's no reason not to buy an $80 UV light when you're a professional in a garage instead of playing around with these little dinky toys that are sold. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to break off here. I want to see if this compressor works and all the controls work. So I'm going to go into operation mode. And uh, I found a leak here, and I think I might have found a leak there. And uh, go from there. See you guys. Buy a snap-on leak detector for several hundred dollars or buy a $1,000 one that actually finds leaks.